Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatpak FX, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own video effects. Now in this video, we're gonna have a look at how to do some rotoscoping using Mocha and After Effects. So let's jump in. So rotoscoping is basically, if you imagine cutting something that is actually moving out of video. Now the reason you would do this is if you wanted to cut something out of a moving shot and maybe change the background, this was the only way that you could do it. Now typically rotoscoping is a really time consuming process, but with the help of Mocha, in a lot of cases it can cut that rotoscoping time down to about a third. So let's jump in and have a look. Now I've got my clip that I've laid out in a new composition. So let's first select our layer, come up to animation and open in Mocha AE. Now here we can just select where we'd like to save our project, give it a new project name, make sure that the frame rate is set to the same as your clip and then hit OK. So here I have my example where I've drawn a single mask which goes around the outside of my wing. Now I know that if I track this in one complete mask, we're gonna have a lot of problems with the mask slipping later on down the track. And the reason for this is inside Mocha, you've got to start to think about things as planes or surfaces. So here we've got one big plane wing which sort of sits along the top of the wing here. We've got another planar surface, which we would call the, the back end of our plane. And then we have another two up here. So we've got the bottom part of the wing tip, and then we've also got the top part of the wing tip here. So what we wanna do is actually track those individually. So I'm just gonna delete this mask here. And what I wanna do is I wanna start drawing a mask which goes around the wing here. All right, so I've got my first mask here, and it's a good idea just to keep renaming these masks as you go along, just so you can keep track of where everything is. Now, another thing I can do is if I hit this button here, it'll create a slight opaque solid that'll sit over the top, and I can just see where the edges of my mask are. So let's come down here, adjust these settings, and then start the track. Okay, so I've got my first mask laid out here and I can just play through just to make sure that everything looks good, but that looks pretty good there. Now, before we draw the next mask, what I'm gonna do is come up here and hit this cog button. And that basically tells it, okay, that we don't want to make any more changes or add any more tracking data to that layer. So it's really important that you select that, otherwise you'll mess around with all the work that you've just done for that layer. Now we're gonna draw out our next mask here. Okay, so down in these parts, what I can do is actually just drag these little end bits and that's just gonna create more of a, a right angle. If I drag them in, I can create more of a curved shape. So just go through and adjust the ones that you need and then you can just readjust these as you go along. Now, the other thing you'll see here is that they slightly overlap and that's important because when we put these two masks together, we don't want any gaps in between. So when we see the final image, we won't see these lines. We're just gonna see one complete solid wing. All right, so with that next layer selected, I'm just gonna rename this. And this one, we need to make sure that that cog's on and there's no cog for that second layer, remember. Then I'm gonna come down here, adjust these settings and then start my track. Now, while that was tracking, I could see this mask down here actually slipping off my edges. Now, I've let this slip off the edges because I wanna show you what you do when this actually happens. Now, you can stop as you go through and actually readjust that and keep the track going. And another option is actually just manually adjusting these and fixing them up once the track is done. Now, if you're doing complex rotoscoping, you'll most definitely have to do this at some point you'll have to go back through and just readjust the mask. Now, the great thing about this is if I just select anywhere on the timeline and then just start readjusting, it's gonna create a new keyframe over the top. And this is one of the great features about Mocha is it's automatically gonna smooth out and animate the other keyframes to match the changes you're making there. So this is really important because this is where it differs from something like After Effects. If I make a keyframe change, it's only applying to that keyframe. So if I was playing through, all of a sudden the next frame, you just find it jump back to its old state. And the only way to do this would be to go back through each of the keyframes and manually adjust them. So this is a fantastic feature and it saves you 
a heap of time when doing this sort of rotoscoping work in Mocha. So you can see I'm creating only a couple of keyframes as compared to doing hundreds of keyframes that I probably would if I was using After Effects to do this. So there you go, so that looks pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna come out here and I'm going to add another mask. I'm then gonna rename this and then B for bottom. And then I wanna make sure that there's no cog turned on for my other layers, so I'm just looking at this layer. Come back down here. Now, before I start my track, I want to actually remove the perspective, shear, rotation, and scale, and just look at translation. So that's just position data. And the reason for this is if you think about a plane wing, it's not actually changing too much in shape. It's pretty solid. So it's really only gonna be moving around in a position or translational space. So if I track it on this position state, we're just gonna get a much cleaner track. Okay, so you can see my mask is slightly slipped here. Now, if I wanna move the whole thing down, I can actually come up to here where it goes to a cross shape and actually select that and I can move the entire mask now to reposition it to wherever I need. So that's another little handy feature for doing some of this rotoscoping work. So there you go, I've only created two keyframes in that whole process to, to, to adjust my mask. Okay, so let's turn off that layer there and then come up and create our final layer so again, I've got my slight overlap of my two layers there. And for this one, just gonna rename this again. Come down here, make sure that's 90%. And again, I only want to track the translational data. Now again, I just wanna do some quick readjustments on this layer just by moving it. I can also grab the edge here to rescale this and resize a little bit, just so it fits nicely. All right, so that looks pretty good there. So this is where you go through and just double check all of your masks here, just to make sure they're all good. But that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna save this project. Then what I wanna do is just select one of my layers and come down to the track menu. Then we're going to select export shape data. Now it's really important that we select all the layers here and we're just exporting the Mocha shape data for AE. Copy to clipboard and now we can quit Mocha. Make sure that's saved. Okay, now we're back in After Effects. I wanna make sure my playhead is back at the start. That's really important. Then I just come up to Edit and down here, Paste Mocha Mask. And there we go. We've got our rotoscoped wing in After Effects. Now here, we can see that we've got a little bit of the background that's come through into our layer. So a way we can fix this, if I select my layer, if I just drop this down, you can see it's automatically created all of those layers that we were dealing with before into masks. So if I selected that back part, because we've named them, we can keep track of everything. Now I'm just gonna go to the mask expansion and there you go, it's just removed that little bit of the edge. I can also put a mask feather on these, on the individual layers as I need. So I'm gonna select my background layer, just drop that straight in. And there we go. I've put jump cuts in of different skies and we have our finished video. So there you go, guys. That's how you do rotoscoping using Mocha and After Effects. I hope you've learned something. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing and also giving that video a like. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.